Scott Kemp is here today. He is a three-month-old puppy. We're going to work on not having him jump up. So this is a simple technique that you can use with smaller dogs or younger puppies that will quickly teach them that you don't want them jumping on you. Tempest, good boy. He's already learned his name. And I don't want him to jump, so I'm going to just take my foot and gently slide against his back feet while he's up in the air. Doesn't matter which foot you use. And I do have some treats so that when he's not jumping, I'm going to give him a little treat. But it will also entice him to jump up, and then I can just use that maneuver on him. Good boy. And just gently move against his back feet. I'm not going in his chest at all. It's all at his back feet. It's meant to put him off balance a little bit. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Excellent. Good puppy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. When he does it again, I'm just going to gently push his feet again. Gently push his feet again. Good boy. And I'm going to reward what I want, which is for him to be sitting or all four on the floor. You want to do this as an exercise, and you want to be able to practice this with other people, but he can't do it unless he learns to do it with you first or other family members. So start to invite him to jump on you, and by invite I mean have something maybe in your hand or pick up your arms like you're going to hug him, and then when he jumps you're just going to give him that very gentle little slide, good boy. And then reward him with a treat when he does what you want. Good boy. Good boy. And slide. Good. Good boy. Hi. Good puppy. And so he's starting to choose what I want, which is to not jump. Good boy. Good boy. And you're not going to get this all in one session. Good. Good boy. So plan on doing this over a series of days. Good. Good boy. It's much more effective than bumping him in the chest or anything else. <clears throat> what you don't want to do is put your hands on him. You don't want to certainly reward him if he's to jump up and, and put his feet up on you. You don't want to be petting him when he does or pushing him off because it's the contact that he's looking for. Good boy. Excellent. Good puppy. Good boy. Very good. Very nice. Good boy. Good. You can see him making that decision to keep his feet on the floor. Good puppy boy. Good boy. Yeah, okay. Right there, I just avoided him, so he landed on the floor instead of on me, so he didn't get what he wanted from that. Good boy. Very nice. Good puppy boy. Good puppy boy. Excellent. Good boy. Good boy. got him a little bit excited there so that I have more opportunity to work on this. Good boy. Good. If you're consistent with that, he will learn it and he will start to sit when he greets people instead of trying to jump on them. And it also helps if the person that's working with him is staying calm and not getting him all riled up. Good boy. Very nice. 